Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Eagerver94 here, back again with another action figure review. Today we're going to look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's Dragon Ball SH Figures Bulma figure. Guys, don't forget to check out hlistgeeks.com where you can order your SH Figures figures there. Use the promo code EVERVER94 to get 5% off all of your purchases on the website. Very slim packaging this time around for a slim character. Uh, very thin and small. It is a web exclusive figure, so it does cost a little bit more than the rest of the figures, even though she is quite uh, smaller than the other figures. Here we have the debut of the new Tamashii Nation's quality seal sticker. Now this proves that this is a real figure made by Tamashii Nations and not a Chinese knockoff. So if the box doesn't have that sticker, the way it looks here is shiny. It's got a triangle pattern on it too. It's got some uh, rainbow-ish uh, reflection coming off of it too. So I'm sure the Chinese people are going to try to replicate the sticker. So they made it as complex as possible uh, so they don't uh, you know, replicate it entirely. So if it doesn't look like that, it's not real. So that is a brand new thing they're doing now. I'm assuming they're going to be doing that for all of their releases now. Big old sticker in the middle of the window, but it looks pretty cool. I, I don't mind it at all. Continuing down, I did notice it says designed by Tamashii Nations in Japan. Bandai Spirits 2018 made in China. So uh, I, I don't remember that being there. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But uh, oh well, funny, you know, ironically, the real legit figures are made in China as well. So... <laughs> The side same as always the other side we get some nice pictures of boma and then the back side we get our standard uh, pictures and the uh, descriptions of the uh, of the figure there so that's it let's get it open and check her out alrighty let's check her out here she is out of the box and this is the figure that I never expected us to ever get for this line and I'm happy that we did it's actually quite amazing that they went this direction and gave us this Boma. From my understanding, she only appeared in this outfit on the cover of a manga, I think. I don't even think she appeared like this on the show itself. Uh, so it's pretty amazing that they chose this, and I'm happy that they did. I actually have a local friend. Shout out to Dean, if you're watching this. Uh, this is his favorite uh, version of Boma, and he really, really wanted this. We were actually talking about... Uh, what if they were to make this figure a couple months before they actually announced it? So it was pretty pretty cool that they ended up announcing it and releasing it. Anyways, let's get to it into the figure. We get some accessories here. Of course, she comes with the next Dragon Ball. Uh, this is going to be the five star Dragon Ball. Just like the previous Dragon Balls that we received, got these transparent orangey color there. So very nice goes well with your Shenron. She does come with her non-wearable goggles here. These are to hang off her neck. Uh, and unfortunately, mine comes with uh, some of the blue uh, painted on the uh, edge of the goggles. That's not meant to be there. A little sloppy there, so I'm a little upset about that because uh, it just that stuff bothers me. We also do get her uh, mini Uzi gun. I'm sure I got the name wrong, but oh well. Uh, very nice sculpt in gunmetal black paint here. The strap is nice too. It's a molded strap so you can't really move it. I'm sure it'll snap off. So I uh, gotta be careful with that. But very cool. We get, we're getting a gun here with a Dragon Ball figure. This is the second time we're getting it. Uh, Android 17 got a pistol uh, with him that you can actually have him hold. We do have alternate faces. We have a regular just uh, smiling adorable face here. The eyes are nicely painted. And then we have uh, one looking to the side with the mouth a little bit more open there. And of course, the last one is the one on the actual figure itself with the blinking eye right here. So cool. Very nice. I like the faces. We get this right hand with a peg because that is to hold her scouter, which we'll get into in a second. We have an open right hand, just a right hand open. And this is uh, meant to be just like the way they're promoting it on the box right here. Uh, where she's uh, putting on her glove so you can see there so it's only the right hand that's open like this uh, and then that left hand to make it look like she's putting it on is uh, this one right here so we have that so you can do that pose and then we have the left hand is uh, pointing straight forward and then we have a right hand where it's kind of uh, you see the fingers are uh, more open or the hands more open here is a closed fist but it's still kind of pointing 
So they're kind of mix and matching. The only pairs for sure I see here are these two open hands here. And then the actual figure comes in the box with one fist. So she only gets one fist, no two fists here. And then we have this hand here to grab her gun. And then we have the iconic Dragon Ball Scouter here, the Dragon Radar. You can see there, they painted it very well. That's how it looks. The screen's just blank. There's no Dragon Ball uh, near us at all. And then there is a peg hole on the back, which pegs into the hand here, which I showed you earlier. So that's how she can hold it perfectly, just like that. So I started to mess around a little bit more with the gun, and this is actually removable. So you can remove the strap, and she can hold it without the strap. But anyways, if you want to get her to hold it on her hand here, then it just slides in there, and she grabs it. So just like that, you can have her holding the gun calmly without trying to fire it. And it turns out that this is actually not a pointing finger, it's a trigger finger, so this is the one meant to hold her gun. If you want to have her holding it right here so there's your only the right hand has that all right and here is boma overall i like the way she came out very nice i do got a few gripes here and there which uh it's not that big of a deal but overall i mean the paint the look they captured the design well and uh, i'm just very happy we got a boma and i'm very happy that they actually released this design here is the first time you'll ever see this in action figure form so far as of now it's the only only one they've ever made uh, any company for that matter so very nice and uh she looks really really good so let's take a little closer look at the figure itself you can really see tamashi did a great job here i really really love uh boma right there on the left arm that padding here one of my main gripes with my specific one is just it isn't as clean as can be. I did show already the goggles, just the sloppiness that they did here with the paint. And then here, I just I, I wish that was a little bit more cleaner. We got some blue, uh, not some, but several spots of blue uh, rubbing onto the pink here. So if that was just cleaner, it would have been that much better. There's an especially uh, bigger slob of blue right there up top. Uh, I just, I don't know. That, that bothers me. It's not a huge huge deal like I said yours could be perfectly fine it's probably just mine but aside from that it looks really good and then here's her little uh, satchel or pouch on the side hip and of course she has that unique uh, design of her attire where the one leg is showing and one leg is covered and she has her combat boots on it's just a very nice design it's very uh, very cool a really uh, badass design on the back here, you can see uh, her little straps and harnesses there. And overall, the hair skull came out fantastic here. We got the nice, adorable design with the ponytail on the side here. We got a little bow tie there in green. And the sculpt of just the strands of hair came out very good. All right, so Bomo's going to move her head left and right. She's going to move up quite a lot and then down uh, a lot too. So we got a nice hinge there at the neck peg. She doesn't have separate neck articulation, but that's fine. It's very skinny, so she can move it around just fine. We have the arms going forward and back. Uh, they're going in and out. There's a bicep swivel. We have a single jointed elbow, but it bends a lot since it's so slim. We get more than a 90 degree bend there. We also do get a swivel at the wrist with a hinge. The diaphragm joint will swivel. We do get a waist swivel too. It's going to crunch forward and back. So lots of range on the torso very nice range there i mean she can bend all the way back and bend all the way forward uh side to side all of it you know you name it she can do it there so that's very flexible with the torso articulation i'm sure it has to do with the fact that she's very skinny so there's your articulation there we have the legs going forward and back right here you can see there there is a thigh swivel let's get focused there you go uh we do get a thigh swivel there legs will spread open this far we have a good bend at the knees here you can see more than a 90 degree bend that goes for both the knees going down to her ankles there is no boot cut or boot swivel but we do get an ankle swivel there's an ankle pivot there's an ankle hinge and that's it there's actually no toe hinge which is surprising because they like putting those on these figures uh, but it's not needed it's cool and then we have a nice sculpt underneath the boots also worth mentioning that uh, her little side pouch or satchel can move up and down so here she is next to Master Roshi from the Dragon Ball line as well. And uh, the big controversy, yeah, uh, the, the scaling does seem a bit off to me. Uh, I don't think Roshi should be as huge or as big compared to her. Um, but it's all good. Honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. I, I don't know why, but I don't know. I, it just doesn't bother me that much. Uh, I, I think Boma should be slim and small as she is. 
it, it would have made her bigger. It would have been, you know, too off. But Roshi uh, also would have been kind of off if it was made shorter or smaller. So it's very hard to to execute it, I guess. Uh, but uh, I'm just happy with these two figures. I'm happy we got a Master Roshi from Dragon Ball. I'm happy we got a Boma from Dragon Ball. And a Kid Goku, you know. So... We're doing good so far. I'm happy to see that they're supporting both series. I'm hoping one day they'll get into Dragon Ball GT, even though it's not canon. But that's uh, that's a conversation for another day. There she is next to her son from the future, of course. And he does stand uh, a lot taller than her. That makes sense to me. That's fine. And there she is next to, of course, her lovely husband, Vegeta. He does stand taller than her, which is correct. He is taller than Boma, even though Vegeta himself is a little short. Here we'll get Goku. Goku should be taller than Vegeta, and he is. If we're looking at the foreheads, or, you know, the heads itself, don't look at the hair, because obviously Vegeta's hair is very tall. Uh, but Goku's forehead's up here. It does sit a little taller than uh, than Vegeta, which is the way it should be, and then Vegeta's taller than Bulma. So I think the scaling here with the Dragon Ball Z figures work very well. It's just the Dragon Ball figures, like Master Roshi. Uh, does seem a little off the scale overall with these two she does look good this does make me wish or hope that they will make more bomas in the future two of the ones that i really want would be uh, this boma which is also a dragon ball uh, series boma right there with that design and then if we could get the new dragon ball super boma the way she looks now the older Boma, which would be that one right there with the uh, with the red scarf, that would be nice. This one right here. So if we could get those two Bomas, that'd be perfect. All right, guys, that concludes my review of the SH Figures Bandai Tamashi Nations Boma figure from the Dragon Ball series. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. One thing I didn't touch on before I end the video is the uh, the knee joints and the elbow joints. Uh, a lot of people don't like the way they look. I, I I get it. I don't like the way they look either, but. I don't know, I can overlook it just because of the entire uh, figure is just fantastic. So, could they have done that differently? I don't know. It's such a skinny figure. The legs are skinny, the arms are skinny. So, you just see these big old, like, almost cylinder-like shapes for the knees. Um, I don't know. I, I'm okay with it, but, but I can understand why some people think it looks ugly. And it's totally understandable. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye.